what does the Bible teach us about blank? Insert your topic here. Learning what the Bible teaches us about a particular topic is where the field of study known as systematic theology comes in. Systematic theology involves collecting and understanding all the relevant passages in the Bible on various topics. An example being, you're wanting to find out as much information as you can on the Holy Spirit and the ministry of the Holy Spirit. Through the field of systematic theology, you could just grab a book. A systematic theology book will have an entire section devoted to pneumatology, which is the study of the Holy Spirit. So if you're looking to find out information about the Holy Spirit, you could turn in that book to that section on the Holy Spirit, pneumatology, and study it out. A systematic theology will point you directly to the passages in the Bible which will deal with that particular topic. Systematic theologies are great for finding out information about specific aspects of theology, such as pneumatology. Other examples will be finding out information about, say, the imminent return of Christ. You would study out eschatology, which is part of the theology concerned with the death, judgment, and the final destiny of the soul and of humankind. If you want to study about the doctrine of the church, you would study ecclesiology. Ecclesiologist theology is applied to the nature and structure of the Christian church. It's in the ecclesiology passage that you would uh, study church polity and viewpoints on the Lord's Supper and baptism, various passages about deacons and elders. It's men like Martin Luther who spent much of their ministry organizing various biblical doctrines in more accessible ways for us. So, I like to think of systematic theology as a search engine for biblical doctrines. The point is, systematic theology is a systematic method to study aspects of the Bible. Now, many people say, well, why do we need it? Isn't the Bible enough? Well, yeah, it is, but that's kind of naive. Systematic theology is, a, as again, is seen as more of a learning tool to understand what is being presented in the Bible in complete compilation. Remember, the Bible is not written as an instruction manual. It's written as theological literature, or in some cases, apologetic or polemical literature. Cases, there's not one passage in the Bible, for example, that exhaustively looks at the Trinity. Not one chapter can we go to in the Bible to explain the Godhead in Trinitarian form completely. It's why, in fact, the doctrines piece together systematically throughout all Scripture, which give us the idea of the Trinity. And you see, that's what systematic theology does. It's a useful tool in getting to interact directly with biblical doctrines. Systematic theology focuses on summarizing, summarizing each doctrine, not just for the sake of gaining more knowledge. But rather, the point of systematic theology is to summarize these ideas so that it can be understood by present-day Christians. Systematic theology is created for you. Theologians have worked in this field of study so we can have a better grasp of theology, to have a better understanding of the Christian life, and have a better understanding of how to worship and glorify God and enjoy Him forever. Systematic theology is a useful tool in determining what the Bible teaches us today. Systematic theology is not just for knowledge, but it's for application. It's structured so that we can, you and me, can adopt these doctrines to our way of living. In other words, studying out and being familiar with systematic theology helps you to better understand the doctrines of God and thereby better add these principles to your life so that you may be mature and complete and lacking nothing. That's what systematic theology is about. And that is the goal and the purpose of this theological branch of study.